Ukrainian forces break Russian defense in Bakhmut. Ukrainian forces continue their offensive in the Bakhmut sector, whereas in the Kupiansk sector, the enemy is trying to break through the defense of Ukrainian troops. Serhiy Cherevati, spokesman for Ukraine's Eastern Military Command, said this. On the Eastern Front, the enemy cannot operate over our positions. He only operates from distant positions. He carries out about 20 strikes per day and, as a rule, these are either MI-24 or KA-52 attack helicopters, SU-25s or newer SU-35s. This is a powerful strike force, but not a key one, and we are coping with it well, Cherevati said. According to him, Ukrainian defenders are currently more bothered by rocket artillery, but Ukraine's defense forces continue their offensive in the Bakhmut sector. We have two key sectors left. This is the Bakhmut sector where our troops are putting heavy pressure on the enemy, destroying their personnel and equipment. The enemy desperately offers resistance using all types of artillery. They struck our positions 580 times in the last 24 hours. There were five clashes, three enemy air raids. During the fighting in the Bakhmut direction, 56 occupiers were killed, 104 were wounded and five were captured. Three enemy T-72 tanks, an armored car, three IFVs, a BMD, D-30 howitzers, three field ammunition depots, an unmanned aerial vehicle, and two Lancet kamikaze drones were destroyed, Cherevati said. Speaking about the Kupiansk sector, he noted that here the enemy is trying to break through Ukrainian defenses, but the decision to strengthen this direction allows Ukrainian forces to keep the situation under control. When asked about changes in the conduct of hostilities by the Russians, he noted that the enemy's tactics have not changed significantly. They have been acting for a long time, not proactively, but reactively, that is, reacting to a change in the situation, to our actions, and using everything they had. Their main problem is personnel, Cherivati said.